I don't know if anybody's on. Testing out something here with my phone doing a stream. Um, I know it's really late, so I'm pr probably going to remove this after. But I kind of want to see how it works a bit. Um, I've tested this out um, in the past. I think this is probably going to be the second time I've used this. And yeah, it looks like Stream Elements is working. Um, I guess so. Um, nothing much today. I I got this in the mail. Um, it's the Walmart reissue of Generation One Devastator. And when I'm looking at it, it just actually brings back a lot of memories of when I had it, got it when I was a kid. So. Um, hey, Central Bay. Good morning. It is good evening for me. It's almost not, it's actually kind of late here, but uh, testing out the, the mobile stream labs on my phone again. I, I did it once, um, but uh, just want to you know, you got to be a th have at least a thousand subs before you could uh, stream mobile, um, but this app actually lets you do it <laughs> so i got this guy today um i also got um a couple of our new transformers oh, i'm testing this out here we got rumble i know he's red but uh the package says he's rumble so i'm gonna call him rumble and siege rat bat i think they're pretty cool and stuff so yeah I'll drop you a link so if you ever want to do like a quick live stream from your phone to your YouTube channel th this is this seems to work very well um, if it's I, I think if you search the app whatever app store you're on well I'm on iOS on this device um, if you search stream labs then um, I think you'll get it and uh, his rat bat in his <laughs> armor mode. Not, I know they, they they say it's it's a cassette to me. And Rumble, Rumble is a little funny how he transforms. I know this guy looks a little stubby, and I didn't like him at first, but he's growing on me for some reason. I, I'm the more I mess around with this figure. <laughs> The funny part is, the more I like, I like this figure. Hey, thank you. Uh, hey, Blizzard. Yeah, it's it's the reissue from um, the Walmart exclusive reissue. Um, I I actually had G One Devastator the box set as a kid, and my um, and that's probably one of the reasons why I wanted to pick it up because um, there's. As a fond memory, my cousin, who is he's a lot older than me, yeah, there is shield mode or cassette mode. Well, my cousin, who's a lot older than me, got it for me. Uh, he came to visit. We were I was living in the mainland at the time, with, but he came to visit, and he knew as a kid I was into Transformers, and he picked this for me. But he, I guess he didn't know, you know, what Transformers were or who's good or bad. Um, all he knew was. Um, this devastator looked like a bodybuilder and my cousin was a bodybuilder or into bod bodybuilding at that time and he, he was saying look at this guy this guy's all v-shaped you know he he looks tough and strong and that's the main reason why he picked him up for me and um but uh it was kind of cool of him because i remember i only saw devastator or the constructicons individually at the in the toy stores so i never did see the box set and i never knew uh it one existed and it was really cool of him to get that for me and uh, many many years and this just brings back a lot of memories of it i mean i know this is not the exact same type of box because it was it was it's multilingual now but uh it it still has the same feel or brings back the same memories um i believe it was styrofoam though inside i don't think it was um plastic uh, well i did 
take out the seal. I'm gonna open it up a bit. And just see. Sorry if this is kind of noisy, but. Okay, so that's gonna be. See you later, Dan. You have a great morning. And man, sometimes you know, you know, I, I do review stuff, but there are times when I get something. I may not review it, and it's not that because I don't like it or anything. It's just, um, it's just like, you just want to enjoy it, you know? You, you want to appreciate it, and while it's cool to do the reviews and stuff, but sometimes, sometimes you just want to also enjoy the figure first. And I remember a lot of, you know, there's the times when there, there are times when i get some figures and i'm i'm like oh man i can't open it yet because i don't have a t i don't have the time to uh film the the intro of it being in box i don't have the time to do this first so i i have to leave it in box before and i'm, I'm like i i gotta i can't uh mess around with it because i gotta do the review right but you know sometimes like this one because of the memory I'm like, you know what? I'm going to open it up. I may or may or not do a review of it, but uh, I can't wait. I And I find myself that way with <laughs> the older stuff that I had as a kid. Yeah, thanks. Hey, uh, Eddie Hill. Oh, well, ho hopefully you... Uh, yeah, I haven't been doing this long either. I, I just do what you enjoy. I mean, whether I, I think that 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 helps because it will show. I, I I I think it'll show. I but then again, you know, I'm not one to be giving advice. I'm I'm new at this too. I don't. I, I'm just I'm just you. Know, you know, all I'm doing is just just sharing with the folks out there what I what I got and what I'm into and if they like it great hopefully they do hopefully somebody does but yeah Damn. so this this part kind of just reminds me of when I first got it oh man so much memories I'm gonna change the angle a bit of this so you guys can see and thanks for hanging out. I mean, I know it's really late. I wasn't really expecting anybody <laughs> to be around, to be honest. Uh, so, okay, this is what I don't like. So, and it looks like it's common with the the re Walmart re issues. The rub signs are so bad. I mean, they're not like the original. Let me get one of the original rubs. Or actually, I'm going to get the repo. Okay, so check out these, yeah, scrapper. Check out the, the, this rub sign. And I'm hoping it picks it up in camera. This is, you don't see it change. So you see this, this is from Toy Hacks. Their repo loves rub, the rub signs. If I press it, I mean, like you can see the difference in the two. I don't know. This seems, this actually seems real, and this seems fake. Uh, a little disappointing. Who knows? Maybe I'll remove them and put the repo labels on them. I guess. I don't know. It's just a little disappointing that the rub signs are not as good as the um, reproduced one. Okay. Okay. Speaking of rub signs. Oh, thanks for subbing. Speaking of rub signs, okay, look, this is the rub sign that went on classics. So you don't see the insignia. And now you see the insignia. This is nothing like it. Don't like that. I don't know. A little disappointed. I may replace the rub signs on these. You know, this is Scrapper. This is guy, you know, I got to put the stickers on though. Yep. 
Remember this as a kid. Very cool. It's kind of cool that, you know, they can still reproduce this. What do we got next here? Let's see. This is Mixmaster. And again, with the rub signs. Not, not too pleased with that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool seeing brand new chrome on a figure like this. <laughs> and how easy <laughs> was that to transform? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me see long haul. Something about the simplicity of it all. It's kind of cool. Uh, stickers doesn't seem to be applied that well here. But all that um, chrome. Look at that. Let's... Uh, it's nice and tight. I give that. Definitely. Shoot. This is tight. Very tight. Kind of to the point where I don't want to force it. Ugh. That's a little disappointing. Come on. Come out. You know what? I don't want to break this. I may have to take a screwdriver and open it up and see what's going on, but this is way tighter than it should be. Sorry, long haul. I mean, yeah. Ah, uh, a little disappointing. I, I'm going to have to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, some retro action. This is the, the Walmart exclusive uh, G1 reissue of Devastator. Just picked it up. This is, uh, what's his name, Scrap? Look at this, this is different. So in G1, this piece was metal. I, I remember that as a kid. This is not, this is plastic, it's not metal. I mean, wait, is it? No, no, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, this is metal. It just seems, ah, I'm old, I don't remember. Don't listen to what I'm, ah! That popped out. <laughs> Don't listen to what I'm saying. I'm old. My memory is not as great, I guess. But that's a little disappointing for it to just pop out. Let's see. Right? Isn't that supposed to go this way and be able... Okay, there you go. There you go. Oh, no. Did I put it on the back? Supposed to be the other side. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to go back and, and actually see what I did wrong. But this is a little loose. Ah, I was born in the 80s, so I'm not 80s. See, you can't even remember. I was born in the 70s. So you're talking about quadruple decades. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's put him aside for, you can see, this is a uh, bone crusher. For some reason, ah, okay, that's a little disappointing. Does it click? Okay, it does click. Okay. I have to put all these tags on it, but it's kind of cool to see all this shiny chrome as if they were brand new again yeah i think this was my favorite as a kid i don't know for some reason i thought he looked cool but now looking at him you know <laughs> i think that's what it is um yeah dark dark going in i i think it was like we, we thought they were cool as kids and i think this is what i liked about him why is my favorite uh, Damex, um, the transformation? It seems a little bit, he, he, I believe he was more unique than the rest. And here's yeah, another disappointing rub sign, hook. There's hook. And another simple transformation. You know, I'm thinking this is metal. This It is metal, but the finish is different than in Generation 1. Um, so that's why I thought at first it wasn't metal, but they are. 
gotta admit, I mean, <laughs> it's really the memories that makes that's. I I think that's what makes it very special. Oh yeah, and then we got all the other parts. I didn't put in the stickers. I think this is Devastator's gun. Um, should I combine them? I think I can combine them. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I'm curious of. One thing I remember. I wonder if they took out the springs for the... I'm going to bring this out. Oh yeah, I'm going to combine them. Let me put this out of the way. I'm just getting the rest of the parts to combine Devastator. Display all my G1 with as much prize as M. You know, and that's cool. I would too. I mean, my my G1s, they're, they're in a display case alongside my MPs. Okay. Hey, Gary's Transformers Reviews. How's it going? Wow, I didn't expect too many people would be here at such so late at night I, i'm really just messing around a little bored so here here's what i'm kind of curious of i know back in the day you could these things would fire ah they took out the spring ah that's a little sad there's no spring it's 11 for you cool i think it's only seven or so for me so one thing disappointed these things don't shoot. Nobody wants to shoot their eye outs anymore. Okay, got my basic pieces. They changed designers. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Okay, let's form Devastator. Let's get a uh, scrapper. Yeah, scrapper. And I think this. Yep, there, there. And there, Scrapper forms one leg. And Mix Master. Kind of glad because Missile Gimmick's annoying me. <laughs> I don't know. I, I When I was a kid, I, I had so much fun just like, you know, shooting things with it. <laughs> I guess it's, I, I you know, it's funny. I guess, you know, Hasbro still, you know, Hasbro has to comply with toy safety standards. So I guess now it's no longer safe for kids to have a uh, shooting projectile toys anymore. I mean, at one point we had those, uh, fire, uh, fire bots and no spark bots and fire cons. Hey, hopefully I'm remembering this. Okay. That that's right. And then you always lose them. Yep, that was that was part of the fun though. You would shoot them around and you would lose them. Okay. Remember the cartoon? It's like uh Devastator Merge, phase one. This was phase one? Yeah, phase one. Was it three phases? Yeah, the spark the monster bots had the spark gimmick. I'm pretty sure nowadays they'll say, no, you can't have that because someone will burn somebody's house's house down with that spark <laughs> and okay oh wait no i think yeah <laughs> it's been i don't know when was the last time i've merged a g1 devastator but uh i did it all the time as a kid they could just put a cover over it yeah they could i might have done it in the wrong order but hey it's missing a lot of stickers hopefully i can remember this i mean it's it's not like it's a complex transformation to begin with okay let's uh raise it up a bit more since we're going higher if i can get this angle right hopefully hey ah, good enough next we have hook and yeah okay as a kid i did this many times to the point of loose joints because we 
played with our toys back then. <laughs> okay, here's Hook. Very cool. And Devastator's head goes in here. Man, just bring so, so much. Yeah, wide load and hot rod. <laughs> Somebody was running out of uh, names. Okay, uh, let's do... Uh, what is his name? Scavenger. Scavenger. Scavenger next. It's pretty much... Yeah, like this. See, my scavenger keeps... This toe keeps on popping out. Some well, I know why because I, I messed it up earlier, but uh, maybe I'm not popping it back in all the way good enough. Hopefully, I didn't break it. That's okay. Hey, okay, there we go. Let's just put it like this. Yeah, this is metal to metal, I, th I believe. Made it a lot more sturdy. There you go. Let's get his arm. Non-firing arm. Yeah, I, I accidentally popped it out. I, I'm 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 gonna go back and and look at it because um, I I don't think I put it in all the way. And let's have Bone Crusher and put him on here. It's really just them in their vehicle modes <laughs> again. <laughs> okay, this way and his other arm with his non firing fist. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna have to check it later on. There you go. Pretty interesting. Like, you see how his hand on there, it's uh, the joint, I guess, is up there, but this is lower. Kind of. Like they don't they don't line up. But we didn't care as kids. Okay, hey, let's put his gun. Seems a lot smaller. And last but not least. Hey Alex, welcome. This is from the Walmart reissue set. Oh wait, it's missing something. There was something on his head. Yeah, I think this is it. Let me grab that real quick. So, this, yeah, this is a toy Walmart reissue. It just came in the mail today. Yeah, so this is a Walmart exclusive reissue. Um, yeah, there we go. I had this as a kid. I, I just did it like that. It looks goof. Yeah, that... that <laughs> That goofy thing on the side of his head. Yep. Hey, Devastator, you have a missile stuck in your head. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I, I don't even... I think I lost it as a kid. I, I'm not sure, but there he is. Of course, I, I do got to still apply his stickers on. But, uh, yeah. From it, This guy brings back so much memories as a kid played with it all the time um i thought it was one of the coolest things that missile should have had a port on top of scavenger's cap <laughs> yeah it should have uh you know in hindsight there's there's a lot of things they could have done <laughs> with with it but uh i mean i i guess i could even do this if i wanted to let's see no, no, it's it's really made. This is before the days of the standard five mm port. So, oh, hey, yeah, I remember as a kid this thing keep falling apart too. Oh man, let's uh, talk about parts forming, right? There you go. G1 Devastator reissue. They were straight to the point. And, you know, we got to remember, these things were designed 
in the late 70s. And I don't know if any of you guys watched the series, The Toys That Made Us. Looking back on how they made them, like they would use wax models, wood, carved, and um, I, I mean, it. I gotta, I gotta give those guys credit with with the tools they had. They made some pretty awesome things. I mean, it. They didn't have CAD. They didn't have three D design. They didn't have. It, I mean, there, there's. There's something, to me, there's something really special about it. Especially, imagine the head was 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 sculpted in probably wax back then. And it, it's, it's, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. So, um, going to, in, in that episode of the toys that made us where they feature Transformers, it was kind of cool to see them show, you know, their prototyping and everything. Yeah, it, really cool, really cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just recently watched them again, uh, Dark Onin. I, I got the Blu-ray and I was like watching them and, you know, um, especially that uh, the Japanese designer who kind of, I guess he said his favorite is Perceptor. Um, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. I mean, it's it's really cool and I'm glad they honored him that way. But looking at back at that little workshop where they were, were where they were designing and prototyping stuff it's pretty cool i and like i saw the the wooden model for sunstreaker i believe or sideswipe yeah i want to be able to transform something in like 12 seconds and say oh look he's a car <laughs> yeah um and and i guess they had to design things that way anyway because uh I mean, yeah, there's there's something really nice about the simplicity of it all. They they yeah, Gary, they they have advanced uh, nowadays, um, and and thankfully to computer uh, aided design, they're they're able to do a lot more, um, and they're able to correct a lot more because um, you know, can you imagine back in the day if if you got your measurements wrong and you sculpted something. You know, you had to shave th something off or add more uh, material. It, it took a lot of time. If you nowadays you design it, three D print it, tweak it, three D print it, a lot quicker, a lot faster nowadays. But I, well, a lot of folks may think in in compared to today's transformers, um, you know, these are so blocky, simplistic, and stuff. But just knowing how they were created. To me, I, I see it, it was a, to me, it's an art form, uh, engineering art form where they're creating something and making a puzzle out of it. So that's pretty cool. I don't know. That's pretty much all I have tonight. I, I didn't, if you look at the the, the title of the stream, um, it's testing. I, I think I should just rename it for calling it something Walmart Devastator or something and just memories of it. Uh, I don't, I don't think i can call this a review it's just hanging out i try to you create my using the tricks they had it's pretty fun very cool very cool i, I give you credit because it, it's it i think stuff like that is a is i well really it's a lost art now because everything's computer designed um but um that's all i have for today i i'm, I'm glad you guys all were here to uh hang out a bit and just watch me reminisce on this figure I had as a kid and um I you know I don't know I I, I used to own the original set many years ago it could be my lighting as well um I don't know it's it's just some some things are definitely different than the original and I'm and that, that's basically for me remembering it as a kid but uh I think most of this figure is is uh what i remember it to be hey chicken fried steak sorry man i'm or i'm just about to <laughs> sign off here i got this uh walmart reissue devastator and just kind of reminiscing and just uh messing around with it whoever's here were hanging out and um i thought it was pretty cool um and i you know uh, it's I, I think the cool part 
sometimes for me like transformers are kind of like food right you ever you ever um eat a food or smell a food and it takes you back to a time or place in your well for me or a nice time or place so for me transformers you know messing around with it playing with it brings me back to a, an awesome time and place which is basically my childhood and um it's a it's always a fun thing to do especially like i don't know about you guys like if you had a long hard day you know some guys i guess they'd rather crack a beer or whatever or, or drink their their long hard day uh for me i'd rather go back to one of my simpler transformers and just say hey you know let's go back in time a bit and remember the good old days before the for bills where you could just pretend and you could uh, just enjoy and your imagination was huge right so uh i know kind of weird but it's just like how some foods you eat take you back in time to a place uh this thing does as well for me and stuff anyway i gotta go it's getting late for me I, it's gotta be late for you guys and i really appreciate appreciate you guys hanging out and uh just uh, watching me uh, relieve the stress of the day by opening an old toy that just brought me back to my childhood. Anyway, thanks again. You guys all have a good night. Stay safe. Till next time.